Good morning, Muffins. And Cherie. It's exploding! Sorry if I'm sideways or a little bit crooked. I'm on my porch and I don't have anything to put my tripod on except for a chair. That is also crooked because it's real old. I just had to film outside today because it feels so good. It feels like fall. There's a little bit of a breeze that like wrestles the trees. <sighs> Breathe it in. So I was trying to summon fall with my little sprinkles today with my little muffin mug shot. Um, I don't know if it worked, but I'm real excited about it. Summon fall, summon fall, come fall. So I weighed in this morning. Um, I was up 0.7, but I am not salty about it at all. Um, I consider that a maintain because I don't get super crazy over the points, like the ounces. My big numbers stayed the same, so I'll probably back down to normal by tomorrow. <laughs> um, I, I'm not sweating it at all. Plus, I really do feel like that despite my <clears throat> best efforts on the camping trip, I did eat off plan. Not, I didn't go crazy, but I did eat some snacks that weren't on plan. I did go to Zaxby's, which is a fast food restaurant, and it's not only a fast food restaurant, it's the worst fast food restaurant you can go to. It is the most high point one I have found, um, but it was the only thing that was on the right-hand side of the street, and I didn't want to have to cross four lanes of traffic, <clears throat> and I'd been waiting three hours to pee, so it was like the only place. <laughs> um, so I was pretty, pretty sure I was gonna have a gain just from Zaxby's, but I did jump right back on plan. So I consider this a win. Like I got back on plan enough to get back down to my main size. Come on airplane. Also this trip kind of showed me that I can maintain if I try and still eat pretty decently yummy stuff. Um, like you know, I, I don't think it's un undoable to be able to enjoy some fattening foods and, and some delicious treats and still maintain your weight. So it's making me feel a little bit better. Um, for when I reach goal because um, I think that's gonna be a challenge for me is when I reach goal I'll feel accomplished and then I will stop trying <laughs> I'm hoping that since my husband is also on this journey that he will not let me just stop trying um, you know because I still have to feed him so if we're both doing the same thing then we, we should have some success <laughs> but I know that I know that goal life reaching lifetime does not mean that you're you're your journey is over. It just means that you've reached your goal. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel pretty good about this week. I've never, ever, ever gone out of town and had a maintain, ever. Not once, never, ever, ever, not once. <laughs> so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Also, this weather makes me wanna get right back out there and camp because I love camping in the fall and the winter. Oh, la, la, cause I hate being hot. I'd much rather be cold. I like to snuggle up in things. I don't like to sweat to death in things. So today, I have to run some errands per use. Um, I also need to make a grocery list because I am doing smart points today, but this is my last day of smart points. I'm gonna do simply, simply filling all next week. Um, I would have done it today, but I don't have any groceries in the house to start simply filling. So uh, smart points today, and then uh, simply filling the rest of the week. So I'm gonna see if I can bump that loss down super far this week. Because I feel like I lost a week this week with the maintain. Um, so I feel like I'm a week behind. So I'd really like to kick some major bootay today, this week. Mm -hmm. Can you hear the wrestling? God, I'm crazy. <sighs> goobble gobble, goobble gobble, goobble gobble gobble. So guys, if you have not joined the Facebook group, I really think you should if you enjoy muffin chats. We're going to start doing um, a weekly poll in the Facebook group where the people of the Facebook group pick a topic and then that topic we discuss. Um, we take your suggestions and then we put them in a poll and then we let everyone vote on them and then the one with the most votes gets to be the topic on Muffin Chat. Um, we just thought it would be a fun way to sort of incorporate you guys more into the Muffin Chat and talk about things that you guys want to talk about, not just things that we want to talk about. Um, so I'm pretty excited for us to start doing that this week. Uh, so I will leave all the links down below if you guys want to go join the Facebook group. Mucho fun. Everybody is so nice and supportive. I have yet to see a Facebook group as friendly. All right, guys, well, I got to go do some housework before I can hit the road. Um, so, yeah, I will check in with you guys in a bit. I need a new saying. I say that all the time. It's real annoying. Sorry. We should make it into a drinking game. Every time I say, see you guys in a bit, you have to go make a cup of coffee. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm on the road. I made a list. I've got, like, five places to go. Um, I brought with me a big jar of water. <laughs> Um, I found this old jar like years ago and it says water on the side. Where does it say it? 
it says juice on one side and then it says water on the other um so i figured i needed to use it for drinking it doesn't have a lid though so i've got to be very precarious how i place it in my cup holder um but anyway so i brought water and then i brought a smart bar um i had someone ask in my last video where i found these these i found these at walmart uh but they're not with the like protein bars they're with the regular granola bars in the breakfast aisle um it says four smart points this is the apple flavor it's okay not my fave um but it's pretty good if you like apples and cinnamon it's good <laughs> So I'm not sure if I'm going to eat that, but I brought it just in case. Um, the last couple of uh, hours have become very social uh, so far this weekend, um, very suddenly. So I talked to my mom and she said she's coming into town tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, Saturday tomorrow. Um, so I think I'm going to meet her for dinner because I haven't seen her since my brother's graduation, which is like the longest we've ever gone without seeing each other, um, which I think was in the beginning of May. But we're either meeting for dinner or lunch I think I might push for lunch because uh, the McGregor fight is tomorrow and I am not into like violence and fighting but I have like a McGregor crush because that little that little sprightly Irish lad just tickles my fancy uh, but I just think he's really adorable in like a kill people kind of way so I want to see the fight and I think we're going to some friend of ours houses to watch it uh, so I think tomorrow I'm gonna end up doing smart points because that's two events in one day that your girls gotta hold it together for. Also today, I think I'm gonna try and make some homemade jam out of our uh, berries that we grew this year because I love to give jam as gifts. And since we're going, since we have friends coming over tomorrow, I wanna send them home with some jam. And then we might go to a party tomorrow and you always need to show up to somebody's house with a gift, I feel like. So I'm gonna, my gift is uh, homemade jam. Because I have so much time on my hands. Hi guys. <laughs> I just ate my granola bar and I'm almost done with my water. Um, I just wanted to share a non-scale victory with you guys that I had this morning and I totally forgot to tell you. Um, but I have this one particular jean skirt that is my absolute favorite skirt. I wear it almost every day. It's my favorite skirt. Um, and as I was walking out of the house this morning, um, it fell off. <laughs> like, like, bloop, fell right to my ankles. Um, so I ran back in the house to get a belt. Um, this is the first time I have had to wear a belt in about six years. It's also a belt that I haven't been able to wear in about six years. So feeling pretty, pretty schvelt today. So I'm pretty excited. So mm. um, since I didn't have a loss this week, it was good to have a non-scale victory this morning. So I'm uh, rocking a belt to hold up my britches today out of function, not just fashion. <laughs> All right, well, I'm about to run into Ulta, so I'll check in you guys in a bit. Hey, it's lunchtime. I'm having the exact same thing I had the other day. I have a four point hot dog, two for a turkey dog and two for the um, healthy life bun. Then I have one smart point worth of fat-free sour cream that I made into a ranch dressing. That's two tablespoons and then a carrot for zero. <laughs> then I have a salad with three points worth of 2% cheddar cheese and some of these bacon bits. So this is a four point salad and then I have a kombucha for one point. So that's lunch. We just woke up from a nap and I'm having an espresso shot. <laughs> Can you see my collarbone? I am almost rocking collarbone. What? Get that collarbone, girl. I'm also on my fourth container of water. I love you, water. All right, we got Friday night steak and taters. I have an 11 ounce uh, lean sirloin. I'll have to put the points down below for that because I don't know right off the top of my head. I also don't know if I'm gonna eat all of it, so we'll see. And I've got five smart points worth of my roasted potatoes per use, and then some light sour cream for two smart points. So I will put the points down below. I'm just gonna drink water. Sorry, husband's, husband is jamming out in the other room. Um, but I did not eat all of my steak. It was just, that was just too much steak. Um, so I weighed out what was left and there was four ounces left. So I counted it as seven ounces of steak. So that brought my total down. And I have three smart points left for the day. So I'm probably gonna have some microwave popcorn and some fruit later. Um, I don't know if I'll show you guys this. This might be the end of the video. But yeah, and I've drank four of these. 432 ounces, so yes, girl. Um, and I will check on you guys later. The most magnificent thing ever just happened. Hubby went out to check on the chickens and <gasps> we got our first egg! I'm so excited, it's small. Is it gonna be this small or is it just cause it's their first one? Oh my God, I am so excited. We have been waiting for these little babies to hatch eggs. We were just, actually today, just today, I was like, I'm gonna go buy some fake eggs to put in there because maybe they don't know what they're supposed to do. So I bought little fake eggs for their nest boxes 
And then they started laying. I'm so excited. Breakfast.